Meow. Okay, well, we got matches, but we can't do anything. Ah! How's it going, everybody? My name is Swing Point, and welcome back to a little bit of Blank Dream. I don't know how close we are to the end. I feel pretty close. That's what she said. <laughs> There's a couple of doors that we haven't actually looked at inside of some of the other realms. This is the realm of greenery or something like that, or realm of nature. I can't remember what it was called. And there was a bronze door sitting here that we couldn't open the first time we were in here. And I feel like these doors might actually be a little bit important. I know you guys might be excited to get to the realm of death, but we got to try these out real quick here, huh? Before we go into the realm of death, because I think that might be the last realm or one of the last realms. What is this? Iron bars jump out of the ground. It seems impossible to climb over them. Cool. Okay, next door. <laughs> There's probably some switch I got to go ahead and like, and then it'll open up, right? You know, I had a cat that used to meow like that. That noise I just made. You know, it's kind of sounded like a little trinket noise, like for a switch. No, that's actually what my cat sounded like. He was from the south. So I said he had a southern accent. Meow. Okay, now this is Realm of Beauty too, right? This thing has something going on in it. Some silver... Don't laugh at me. Some silver door going on somewhere here. Yeah, over here. So let's see what's going on over here, huh? Silver key. Yeah, yeah. The room is dark, and the weak lantern doesn't seem enough to light the room adequately. So I'm gonna have to find a flashlight, but I already got my silver key. Which makes you feel like I should be able to go in here, like, right away. But maybe not. Let's go find ourselves something that's better for seeing things. And then I guess we'll advance hour from there. There's actually something with a switch here that I think I want to go touch. And then we'll go to the realm of darkness if it doesn't do anything. Hey, I can walk around here now without trying to get, like, killed. Oh, cool. What's over here, then? Can I go in? Maybe? I thought the little doll was going to try to come and kill me. Oh, there's a mirror down here. You sneaky little thing. Let's go check this out. You sneaky little thing. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's Rhea Taros. Do I really want to do that? Okay, Mr. Rhea Taro, I got a surprise for you. You can go find out whether or not your name is actually Rhea Taro. That'd be cool. Yeah, look at all these good things I'm doing for the community. Okay, dude, I found your thing. Yeah, a mirror of mine. I'll get my memories back if I go there. All right, then. Well, let's go. Sorry to trouble you, but can you lead me there? I kind of feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, so when I enter a realm with his mirror, he automatically follows. Oh, so it's kind of like hints, 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 hints. Maybe. I wonder if that would happen. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I feel like breaking these mirrors is like the worstest of the ideas. Okay, here you go, guy. It's all yours. Yeah, take a peek. There you go. Now, this is something. No matter who stands in front, it always reflects me. Oh, it's some kind of magic trick, isn't it? Uh, better brace myself. Oh, God. This is way more interesting than the realm of death. I don't know if that's true. Five years ago, a phone call. So, is this all going to be real Tao's memories? Oh, uh, this is all like side story then, isn't it? We don't actually have to do this. Hello? Sash? What are you calling about? The young girl. And that New Year card photo. Is that your daughter, CS? Can't you tell? Would I put a photo of my mother, a father, a stranger for our card? I suppose. So, so what about her? Oh, she just looks like you when you were a kid, but at the same time, much too cute for that. Ha! <laughs> Rhea Taro. Oh, so that is his name. Are you making fun of me? Trying to start something? I'm complimenting her. Something about her is just so, oh, so adorable. Maybe she gets it more from him than from me. And I'd appreciate the compliments more if your taste didn't give me such a chill. Now stop misunderstanding me, sis. I'll have you know that it's nothing like that. You can't hide it. The whole Sengoku family trades rumors about a thing you've got for kids. Oh no. Seriously? Let's try asking mom. God, it's, it's really not like that at all, man. I don't see them in any lewd way, truly. You're turning 30. Think about marriage already. The bride should clear up any strange rumors. Taking my ear off as usual. Oh well, regards to your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Talking my ear off. It's really not anything lewd. I just... I just see such beauty there. Oh, God. Does he become lewd? Oh, God. I see. See, I remember. Um. Boy, what a mean mirror. Why a memory like this, of all things? So suppose... Suppose I don't need to ask if you saw that, too. 
Oh, so I could have said stay away creep right away. Oh, I remember that now. Remember when we had that option right away? Okay, now what I wonder, he's dead. And he, does, I think they killed themselves if they came here. So maybe he got so much negative attention because of those rumors that he ended up committing suicide. I wonder. No, 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 no. I'm not after any sick desires. I just see them as a kind of beauty to be held with high regard. I, I have no desire to trouble them in the least. Understand that. So, aren't you going to break the mirror? B break it? Why? I mean, perhaps. Uh, perhaps it's a memory, but I've been better off not remembering. But it is, in fact, my memory, and I'm dead already. No sense throwing a fit. So, are you not going to remember it if you don't break the mirror? Well, anyway, I should thank you. With that, a piece of my memory has returned. Now, no more to do in this eerie place. Be sure to let me know if you find another mirror. Weird, man. Don't look at me like that, please. I never wanted to show it in broad daylight either. I really just... No, enough. Excuses just make more misunderstandings. Yes, that's true. You ever heard the expression, if you're explaining, you're losing? That's pretty much what he just talked about right there. So, I'm gonna kinda wanna go back and go take a look at this mirror. I wonder if I can break his mirror for him. Should I? Can I? I don't know. I kinda wanna find out, though. I bet you the silver one is about... Oh, I can't remember the girl's name. Yuzu? I bet you it's hers. Can I break this mirror? I can't. I cannot break his mirror. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the switch. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay. The distant sound. I, I think this is what I wanted to get back to the room of greenery. Okay, now I bet you those bars are down. Let's go check that out. Sure enough. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go see if we go find it here, man. I bet you're gonna find somebody else's mirror. Ooh. Secrets. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of save us through. And who is in here? Yep, Yuzu. That's what I figured. Hmm. Huh, huh, huh. Well, let's go. Let's go hop on Yuzu here. You, Yuzu. You found one of my mirrors. Well, let me show you what a discovery. Lead me that red wave. We're together. Even those realms won't scare me. Okay. Oh! God damn it. Jesus. God. 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 <laughs> Jeez. Just went to go get Yuzu. That's all I was doing. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go take a peek at it. Oh, God. I'm getting nervous all of a sudden, but these are my memories. I need to remember them. Stare. <laughs> I don't know if you need to remember these memories, man. I'm starting to think that, like, oh, but God, they, like, they need to. That's the only way they get out, right? Eight years ago, a middle school. Oh, God, I'm still torn. So torn. Uh. During break time, I, Yuzu Hanazaki, sat down in my seat and sighed. Thirteen-year-olds are seen as audacious, but they still have troubles and internal conflict. Hanazaki? Uh, uh, uh what? The Day Duty Diary. It's your turn today, so the teacher... Ah! That's right, thank you very much, Utsuro. Mm, well, that's all. That girl's got some red eyes and some white hair, man. Oh my god. Ah! Once again, we couldn't keep talking, though I longed to talk with her more. I, Yuzu Hanasaki, was captivated by Utsuro. She was so unlike the other students because she has white hair and red eyes. A girl of few words with mysterious hair. Not air, hair. <laughs> air. Long eyelashes and always looking tired. And her skin and hair were white as snow. Okay, fine, you addressed it. And it was apparently a kind of- Oh, she was albino. Okay. At first, I thought I just wanted to be her friend, but then I quickly realized it wasn't that. Even if it was puppy love, I was certainly in love with her. Ooh. It's strange, isn't it? But I was troubled. I loved her, but at the same time, I hesitated at the idea of loving a girl. So is that why you killed yourself? Is that what these mean? Like, she couldn't deal with being gay, so she killed herself? Like, uh, uh, people, I don't know when this, the idea of this game was, but like, people had a really rough time. Like, even just like five years ago, People were really mean to gay people. This whole, like, people, like, finally accepting gay people, that's pretty new, unfortunately. It took a really, really long time for us to get to where we are now, and we still got a far way to go. Like, like, it was just this year that some major countries are accepting gay marriage. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on with her. And then, what, Ryutaro was the one who liked kids, but 
didn't, like, want to touch him, but people talked to him as a pedophile, right? Interesting. I at least wanted to be more friendly with her, not as a lover, but then as a good friend. That's it, huh? Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ha! I remembered. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Those are my memories from the age 13. All right. Okay. You. You saw that too, huh, Mishiro? Uh, I'm embarrassed. It's free country. <laughs> Thanks. Won't you break the mirror? Uh, b break it. Why? I probably should have said I don't care, because I really don't care. I don't know what- I just clicked it. <laughs> Why would I break it? Sure, I, I wouldn't want everybody to see, but I need to be with them for me to look inside. So it's probably fine to not break it. Huh. Anyway, Michiro, thanks. Because of you, I finally remembered something about myself. Now, let's return. Tell me if anything else comes up. Huh. Man, now I really wish I would have said I don't care. God damn it. Okay, so. What do you say now? It's not like I only like girls, yeah? I mean, probably. I just happened to fall for a girl first. I mean, I, I do think you're kind of cute, too. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, we've learned a little bit more about our other characters here. Let's go into the realm of death and see what that's all about. Now that we spent a little bit of time hanging out with Ryotaro and Yuzu. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's probably gonna be lots of deadings going on in here. It's gonna be a little spooky. <laughs> okay, yep, it's a little spooky. Yeah, a little spooky. I felt the spooky. I felt the spooky spook. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what I think is really weird is how they break their mirrors, or how they didn't break their mirrors, and we do. I guess we don't really need to break the mirrors. I don't know why we've been doing that. I guess I just kind of assume that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> well, there's a bad guy down there who probably wants to kill me. So I'm going the other way first. I'm not ready for that yet. Let's go over here. Are you gonna try to kill me? Stone statue quietly looms. Okay, well, I'm not dead. That's good. There's an unnatural gap in the books. Which means I probably need to smash it with my hammer. No, I probably need to go get a book, right? So, since there's an unnatural gap, let's go ahead and go find an unnatural book to put in there. Oh, God, this is a major puzzle, dude. Respect your predecessors. Whoa, I did it! Oh my god, I just wandered around that freaking maze forever. Okay, I'm somewhere in here. A bureau with an odd air about it has a book inside with a blue cover. Yes, thank you! I found value in the book and timidly took it. Okay, so I just need to get out of here, right? That should be super simple. Don't die. No dying. No dying, please. Oh, I did it! Yeah! Cool! Well, let's go put our unnatural book inside of there, right? <laughs> okay, so, well, book on the bookshelf's a bad idea. I don't know. The room is dark and the lantern is weak. Ah, that crap again. How do I let in my lantern, man? I gotta figure that out. Okay, time to deal with this asshole. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is a big room, by the way, on 428, the Holy Mother rested peacefully, still loving the weak and seeing beauty in the world. Okay, whatever. Oh, no! No, 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 has the Holy Mother doing its thing, okay? That would be super simple. Most beloved day. What would that be? Birth of a child? Probably. Gave alms to poor children. I don't even know what alms means. What's an alm? That's my birthday, 612. Did it work? Okay, that's good. I don't know what alms are, but I, I guess it works. Hey, my birthday's a code in here. That's kind of cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Well, let's keep advancing onward here. So we can find ourselves here into the realm of death. Full of junk. A dust-covered junk. A book of matches. Okay, we got a book of matches. But we don't want to collapse the pile of junk. I'm really afraid I'm going to die in here. Really afraid I'm going to die in here. I usually die in these types of things. No dying, please! Okay, well, we got matches, but we can't do anything. Ah! That was a cheap shot, man! Meow. Okay, I'm ready for you now, you son of a bitch. No! I did it. 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 Okay, so we got matches. We got a blue book. Okay, Mr. Guy. I have your book. 
I'm gonna put the book in the shelf, and then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> I did it. Good! Just got that stupid thing out of the way. Now, what do we do with our new space here? I got some matches. I don't know what I'm gonna use those for yet. And it seems like there's a couple of places where we gotta do a little bit of puzzle solving here. Make these things go popping up and down. I gotta pull that, right? Okay. Go for it! That's all I had to do? That doesn't seem so bad. There's a book here, right? Old book. Okay, I'll take an old book. With a quick read of the book, it turns out to be a manual on using lamps. Oh, how convenient! I learned how to adjust the wick on my lantern, so now I can- Now I can see things better. Oh, how cool! <laughs> okay. Well, now that I did that, I can go ahead and go into that room in the realm of death here. That was too dark for my weak little eyes to see. But before we do that, we got a different place to go. Oh my god, this episode's gonna get so long. We got this place over in the realm of booty, I think. To go check out with our newly intensified lamp. Well, let's strengthen our lamp here. I don't know why I would weaken it. I probably would run out of juice, maybe? I don't know, let's go inside here. Hey, we got yourself a strong lamp. Okay, it's a little spooky in here, guys. Oh, it's way spooky in here, guys. Oh my god. There are so many options here. How high does this go? Does it go infinitely? Is it one of those? Come here. Don't tell me it's like that. It is, isn't it? It is. Okay, so this is a puzzle that we will figure out right now. Oh, we did it. We made it somewhere. Whoa. Yes. 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 Okay. So, what is this? Ooh, mirror. Hey, it's Yuzu's mirror again. Doesn't seem to change as much as Mishiro looks. Okay. Well, let's go find ourselves a little Yuzu here. Here you go, girl. The mirror shows her reflection. Okay, I think I'm getting used to this now. The mirror's got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. That would make sense, right? If looking in the mirrors might tell me my wish, I'm excited, but a little scared at the same time. Let's do some peeking. Seven years ago, Mirror Lake. So this is one year after... Oh, it's you. Oh no. You died, didn't you? You've been here for a while, yeah. This is, she, this is where she died, because if you remember, it was six years ago. In the middle school, they talked about somebody who died a year ago. And this is seven years ago. Damn! Sunset is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes from into being when the sun dies. Okay. Even though we see the sun for 12 hours a day, we always forget its beauty. <laughs> I guess. But I like the sun of the day, too? You're positive about everything, Yuzu. It's been a year of getting to know Utsuru. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel, but we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically, but just spending time together is nice. Twilight is a vacacious, 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 vacacious thing. <laughs> it's neither day or night, and the people spend it preparing for the coming night. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed, it's just empty and hollow, much like my name. What's wrong with your name? Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think Usuru is a great name. A great name? I hate it. To be called hollow. It feels more like the denial of my existence. Mm, but I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious hair, too. Is that right? Maybe Usuru dies. You know what, Yuzu? I'm a person who just shouldn't exist in this world. Uh, what? Just the fact that I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. Oh, your parents got it on when they weren't supposed to. You mean like original sin? Did you ever, did you ever tell me you were a Christian, Usuro? No, I don't mean anything like that. In a more concrete way, I shouldn't exist. I, I don't get what you're saying, Usuro. I mean, it shouldn't exist. That's it's pretty extreme. We, we get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would I do? If hypothetically I were to die soon. <laughs> And you should forget about me. I could only blankly listen to Utsuro, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Utsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive things the same way. I said, huh? Somebody dies here. I don't know which one, but somebody dies here. Weird. This lake, man. Yeah, I remember. Even as I got closer to her, Utsuro was a strange girl. Though that was a charming in a way. 
Most of my memories of Osuru are out back now, and I know that these are important memories to me. I still can't remember up to my death, but it seems I remembered some of the things precious to Yuzu Hanasaki. And that's thanks to you, Mishiro. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, now, take this. I got a mystery key. Ooh, what'd I do with the mystery key? I don't know how to use it, but I'm sure it'll be useful to you somewhere. Ooh, I got a mystery key. 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do with my mystery key. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my mystery key. Let's go use a mystery key somewhere. Actually, what do you gotta say, huh? I wonder if I managed to confess to Utsura at the end. Probably not. Uh, for my appearance, it seems like I died in middle school. You might have. Huh. If my wish is something like that, then haunting the living probably won't work. Well, I'd imagine since you got a couple of mirrors, then this guy's gotta have a couple of mirrors, right? Oh, oh, when you're in the realm of blood, you can go the other way. <laughs> what is this? Sure enough. Well, let's go get a little bit more memories back on this guy, dude. Okay, dude, here's your mirror. Here you go, Ryotaro. Hmm, now what'll it be this time? I can't imagine what'll come up even though it's about me. I wonder if the return of a new memory were to totally invert my present personality. That may well be the same as death. No jokes about how I'm already dead, please. Huh. I wonder how these people died. One year ago, a company. I just a company. Some random company. Some random middle school. Let's see what this is all about. I wonder if it's gonna go back to his, like, the, like, into kids thing, you know what I mean? Like, liking kids the wrong way? Hmm. Should we get going, Sengoku? Yeah! You are worn out, sir? Yeah, trouble at home lately. At home? Ugh. Is this up to something again? She seems really upset lately. No, no, not that. Well, it's not that kind of thing you, you tell people about. But, but you're not a stranger. See, my old man's in- my old man's inheritance is proving to be a kind of a mess. Uh, uh, uh. Is that Mishiro's dad? No. Yeah? No. Yeah, the inheritance of a famed artist. Uh, I bet it's a lot. Huh, but, but didn't your father pass away last year? Why is it only a problem now? Actually, it's been trouble ever since then. I'm the eldest son, but the will says everything should go to someone else, except they're refusing it. That said, they won't even give it to me. So, it's up in the air. What was that old man thinking? It really does sound messy. With money, you should always follow the law. That's what I intend to do. Soon, I'll get a lawful interpretation at a suitable place. With this taking up all my time, I didn't realize how I hardly been talking to my daughter lately. This is a delicate time for her, too. This is no good. As her father, I should- Calm down, sir. You okay? Right, sorry. I, I should at least do my job properly. I know, Sengoku. <laughs> Will you ever come to our house later? Uh, uh, to your house, sir? Is that why I said stay away, creep, right away? Because I saw him before? This Ryotaro guy? Huh. I'm sure it'll take her mind off of it to talk with her bro- Her brother? And if you could, talk to my daughter like a good uncle? Oh, okay, so Ryotaro is- our uncle? Your, your, your daughter, you say? There's been some trouble. She's She's been retreating to her shell lately. She doesn't have many friends at school. It feels like she needs some new relationships. Well, I wonder if a clumsy fellow like me could have a good talk with her. Ah, it's fine. You're a good guy. I'm sure somebody like you is just the guy to help me with my glum daughter. It's pathetic as can be that we're too busy with money to tend to her. But this is important and we can't ignore it. All right, then, if my brother-in-law insists, how, how can I refuse? He seems really nervous about this kid thing, man. Wait, I'm sorry, have you seen her before? Uh, the cute young lady in the New Year's cards, right? Ah, right. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking some time to brag about her, but, uh, it's, it's time. There's work to be done, yeah. Okay, well, now let's go. West building, right? Yeah. Weird. Okay, so, Ryotaro is our uncle-in-law, right? So he's my- no, 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 he's just our straight-up uncle. He's our mom's brother. Oh, I remember. I see, Mishiro, you're- Shinji Yusui, no doubt. He was my boss and brother-in-law. Though at the moment, I can't recall if I ever did meet you in person while I was alive. Huh. They seem like trivial memories, but I feel like they relate to my death and my wish. Many holes remain, but I've remembered a fair bit. Couldn't have done it without your effort. 
Here, I've got something. Another mystery key. Thanks. Look at all these mystery keys I have. <laughs> Be sure to let me know if you find another mirror. So weird, man! Okay, so how is- Now, I wonder if Yuzu's connected the same way. My boss was Shinji Usui and Sis, well... And the child that my boss and Sis... It was you! What's left is the why of me being here. Of course, the same goes for you. This just got really, really cool, man! Okay, we gotta finish out this realm of death here. But I think there's one area that we couldn't go in because it was too dark. And I think that with this was it. So now that we're in the realm of death here, West shall always be a reflection of the East. Okay. West is always a reflection of the East. Does that mean we start on the East? No, West is always a reflection of the East. Okay. So here's the East, right? We need to make the West look like that. So everything's gotta be opposite. Okay, that'll be simple. I've done puzzles like these before. Because the sword is not flip-flopped. So let's go flip-flop our sword. There we go. And this guy needs to be flippity-floppity. There we go. I think the wine needs to be flipped too. Aha! Here we go! We did it! See, those aren't that bad. I understand how these types of puzzles- I think that same type of thing was in the witch's house. Like, same exact type of puzzle. With a frog or something? Okay, what are you? Some things cannot be seen when there is light. Okay. So, I have a lamp that I can adjust the intensity on! Me being a smart video game let's player thinker person! Well, let's weaken it, huh? Are these instructions? In the darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. Okay. I can take the sword now. Okay, so now since I have the sword, that was specifically what it told me to do, I can stab you, right? With my sword? Plunge the western sword into the floor. Let's try it. Oh, I did it! I heard something moving nearby. Was it- Oh, it's spooky, whatever it is. Was it the fireplace? Something moved! Okay, I can't see into the fireplace. Let me go turn this back up. I bet you I can, like, go into the fireplace or something. Oh, God, there's blood. There's blood! Hi, blood! Some things you're happy you're not seeing. Oh, you changed. You don't say the same things anymore. Okay. The floor is gone, revealing a ladder to- I- I'm gonna save my buttons. I need to do the saving. Alright, guys, this, this might be it! Let's do it! Oh, God, we gotta be so close to the end here. Right? Oh, wait, no. Okay, we still gotta go into, like, one super realm area, right? Cause this- Yeah, we gotta do this quick. We gotta do this, break one of our mirrors, and then there's gonna be, like, that double door that opens right in the center of the world, right? Yeah, that- 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 that's what's gonna happen. So let's go into here real quick. Let's go take a look into my mirror! One day ago- Oh! One day ago! Oh! Whoa! Huh. You really don't have to see me off. It can't hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Then again, since you're black all over, maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mishiro. Why are you so nice? Eh? Because <laughs> he's Canadian, do you not see the eh? <laughs> I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to care about me, is there? Mishiro, why are you so dark? Come on, have a heart, bruh. I mean, it certainly wasn't deepening our friendship solely just to get you to model for me. What do, what, what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Ayato. Hold on. Wait, what's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in particular out of you. Well, that can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate my motives or pros or cons when I'm making friends with people. Uh, do, do you, Mishiro? Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in such a situation. And you already forgotten what it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it, to, does it to preserve her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. Uh, I think you're overthinking it, Mishiro. I, I don't meet with you and talk to you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly ever since a few years ago. And that your high school has a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. <laughs> Whatever your situation, there is no inherent meaning in people mingling. 
I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister. But keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine, it's how things are, so loosen up, okay? I don't feel like tell- I feel like telling somebody to loosen up never really is a good idea. Besides! <laughs> you like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think the same about me. I- I- I didn't mean to say- ah, I'm just kidding. Really, though, enough with all the overly logical thinking. Or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. <laughs> all right, let's go. Uh, what? D d what? Wait, oh god, watch out! Oh no. What's happening here? What happens? Whoa. Oh. Stop it, that's enough! I got goosebumps now, man. That's so sad. I to like, why do the good people always die? <laughs> Just stop it. Ayato protecting her from the reckless driver headed toward her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishiro Usui's heart dying in that instant. And her loss of hope from losing Ayato carrying her to Mirror Lake, which she threw herself in from despair. All these things Mishiro remembered. Mishiro? Yeah, maybe it's Mishiro. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as though she had lost something important. Wow, that's sad, man. That's sad. That's gotta be, like, close to it, though, right? So, you know what, guys? I think, I think, I think. We're at a point. Let me go to the beginning here, or the main entryway. I think we're at the point. We can go on ahead. Yeah, I've broken all the mirrors. Perhaps I can open the door. I'm not gonna open it yet. We're gonna end it here, guys. Thank you guys very much for being a part of the series. I think there's gonna be one video left of this game. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure because I haven't played it yet. But I would assume there's only enough content left for an end video. We're gonna see what happens with Mishiro at the end here. We're gonna see what happens to these two doorknobs. Riataro and Yuzu, I, I would guess each one of them have a mirror because I said if you find anything else Let me know. I'm guessing each one of them still have one more mirror And then I think that'll be the end of the series. So thank you guys very much for watching. This has been a lot of fun I've really been enjoying it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. Click that like button. Internet points are cool And I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here That was my butthole just now. Yeah. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a new game called The Park. A new psychological horror game, which is kind of the reason why I picked it up. I like these psychological horror games. They usually get really weird and kind of mess with your head a little bit. So I wanted to see